This is amazing. What if you have an interface like this and you are able to upload files and able to chat with those files? Not only that, it's completely private and able to run without internet. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about private GPT. Using this, you are able to chat with your PDF file, document file, text file, and any text readable file completely locally on your computer. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence in my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. In this section, first I'm going to cover how to set up your private GPT UI like this. Next, I will explain you how to integrate private GPT in your own application. So first step, git clone private GPT and click enter. Next, navigate to that folder. Next, conda create hyphen and private GPT python equals 3.11 to create a virtual environment. Next, conda activate private GPT and click enter. Now you need to install poetry. This is a requirement to install private GPT. There are different ways to install poetry in your local computer, but I'm going to use Mac. So I'm going to install brew install poetry. Brew install poetry and click enter. You can follow the different installation process on their website for your individual needs. Next, poetry install hyphen hyphen with UI comma local. This will install the user interface. If you want to modify any of the settings, you can modify that in the folder where it says settings.yaml. If you could click that and you should be able to see a file like this, which contains the environment name, port number, what vector database you want to use and what large language model to use and what embedding model to use. Embedding is a process of converting your text to vectors. Not only that, you are able to do that using SageMaker and also you can have your OpenAI API key in this line. Now we're going to run poetry run python scripts slash setup. This will download the large language model and the embedding model to run private GPT. This will install Mistral 7 billion parameter model as we have seen in the settings file. Now the setup is done. If you are using Mac, you need to run this command to install the Llama CPP Python library. If you need NVIDIA GPU support, you need to run this command. I will put all the information in the description below. Considering I'm using Mac, I'm going to enter this command and click enter. And finally, I'm going to run this command local make run and click enter. Now we can see the application is running in port number 8001. I'm going to navigate to that URL. Here you have the fresh installation of private GPT. Now you can upload any file here in the upload file section and ask your questions here. As soon as you click upload, you can see it's parsing the nodes and also it's generate the embeddings. Once that is completed, now you can ask questions. I'm going to ask, give me the first page summary of overview LLM and I'm going to click submit. Now it is responding. The article of overview of LLM provides a comprehensive review of large language models. And you can see the sources listed at the bottom. It is as simple to query a document like this. Next, if you want to search in docs, this will automatically query your vector database. I'm going to ask LLM overview and click in and it automatically gets the areas where the words are mentioned and page number 31, page number one, page number two and different pages. And thirdly, we have another option called LLM chat. This is a normal chat, normal conversation with the large language model. What is your base model? This is just a basic question. I'm a large language model trained by Mistral AI. This proves that it is talking to the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. There is one more additional thing which I'm going to show you how to ingest large amounts of data. Keep the other terminal running. Now I'm going to copy a folder called songs, which I downloaded from Kaggle. This contains many number of files with songs. You can see the songs folder with many files like this. Now I'm going to ingest these data in bulk. In your terminal, make ingest songs hyphen 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 watch. Watch is that you can see the log, what's happening behind the scenes. Now you can see it's passing the notes. This also embed every single file. Once that is done, you can go back to your previous terminal, which is already running. You can stop that by control C and you can start that again by typing local make run. And now it's again ready. Coming back to our interface. If you refresh the page, you can see the loaded files and the files are still getting loaded. It depends on the number of files. It'll take some time. So now you can ask question. Give me happy songs from knowledge. Now I got a response here from the large language model. It got the information from Beatles and also Prince.txt. Now we have covered how to set up this private GPT 
Next, we have covered how to ingest a large amount of data. And finally, we are going to integrate this with your own Python application. As a first step, import request. Then we are adding API endpoints. That is 8001 and the chat completions. Next, we are going to add headers. That is application slash JSON. After that, we are going to add the payload for data. So in data, we are providing the message, list of happy songs from knowledge. Use context, I'm going to say true. That means it will take from the embeddings. You can have context filter. You can include sources if you require and stream is false. Finally, I'm going to make the post request. Response equals request.post with the URL headers and JSON data. And finally, I'm extracting and printing the response, response.json and print result. So it's just a post request with messages data, user context and stream equals false. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python private gpt.py. That's where I've stored my code. Now we got a response here. Here are some happy songs that may be related to the context information provided. I am a believer, don't stop dancing. Now we set up UI for private GPT. We ingest a large amount of data. Not only that, we programmatically able to query the private GPT. That's it, as simple as that. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.